Yo, it's DJ Five Venom's Rolling Loud's official DJ. We in the field with Dirty Gold. Here's your official in the field reporter with Dirty Gov Bastard, and I'm standing right next to DJ Five Venoms. DJ Five Venoms, the man himself. I mean, I feel like you're just inter as integral to Rolling Loud as Tariq or anyone else, in my honest opinion. I appreciate that. Because you've been doing this thing for a while now. Yeah, from day one. Day How did one. you get into the mix? Uh, well, it started before there was even a Rolling Loud, at, uh, working with Tariq and Matt for their touring company called Dope e T. So I, uh, at the time I was living in Orlando, whenever they were doing shows in Orlando, I was their DJ for their shows in Orlando. Then when they came up with the idea for Rolling Loud, it kind of like transitioned then, and then I just stayed loyal, did my thing, did the work, and here we are. Now, what is it like to see something at its early stages transition piece by piece, year by year, into becoming the world's largest hip hop festival? Unbelievable, uh, especially at the rate it happened at. Like one, it felt like one year we are in like a, 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 a warehouse with stages and. And then the next thing you know, we got trailers and big stages and pyro and they're like all, you know, and the biggest artists were traveling the world. So it just happened really quick. But it was a, it's an amazing transition. Like every show gets bigger and better. And the acts get bigger and better. But one thing that you do a great job at is paying it forward for emerging artists and bringing them out and sharing your stage and sharing the platform with them. What emboldens you to do something like that? Uh, there's just sometimes the DMs hit. Uh, there's a lot of artists that like will drop a lineup, you know, nine months ahead of like a festival, right? right. So in that time, sometimes an artist bubbles up and they they lit, or I see an artist that's doing the work that just you know they'd be great for the set. So I'll tap in, or artists will hit me looking for the opportunity. If it makes sense, we run it. So is it fair to say that you pay attention to who's making noise in the locations that Rolling Loud are doing shows at? Yes, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. And it's not even just like those locations, you, you know, we don't do Texas, but like there's an artist bubbling in Texas. And a lot of times like the homies, like the, the people that are tapped in are hitting me like, yo, this person's moving, this person's doing that, this person's doing this. So it's like, you know, that, that word of mouth and if you're doing the work, people pay attention. Like, I'll, uh, I'll give you a good example. Like, the last L.A. show, I'm out there. Uh, one of my, all my homies, all the DJ homies are like, yo, so saw that dude out there, and he killed it. Hit him, like, yo, you want to step out? Pulled up, did his thing, and, like, his record's going crazy now on the West Coast. So those opportunities bubble up. Uh, same thing happened Fabio Fabio Foreign. Like, uh, homies are like, yo, he's the next one. He's killing it. Boom, hit him up. Uh, shout out to uh, DJ Camillo, Connecting the Dots and bought them out on the stage for that. So it's like these, op when you've got people that are on that underground curve and putting them up and being able to put them on that stage is special. Is there anybody, is there a top three or anybody that come to mind that you've championed early on in their career that has gone on to do phenomenal things in the industry? Yeah, I mean, Fabio is definitely one of them. Uh, Smiley from uh, Drake's camp, I bought him out in Miami last year. Uh, man. It's a lot. Uh, shoot, we had Eye Candy today. She's killing it. Um, man, um, Fendi the Rapper, we just bought out. C Stunner. Uh, There's a lot of artists that are bubbling. They're doing the work, and they're going to be the next, you know, big stars on the stages. Well, uh, Five Venoms, that's all the questions I have for you at the moment. I appreciate your time, brother, but I think we can leave it off here.